Okay, we're going to look a little bit at the power of Wolfram Alpha. By now, you may have watched the videos or done problem solving systems of equations using row reduce or reduced row echelon form, RREF, on your TIDP calculator. It's actually as easy or perhaps easier on Wolfram Alpha. So, this is the command on Wolfram Alpha. The command is simply row reduce. It may figure it out from RREF anyway. And I made a silly question here where the, the problem would have been 1x plus 2y equals 3 and 4x plus 5y equals 6. So the matrix form for that, we put the rows in braces with uh, commas separating the elements, so 1, 2, 3 for the first row, and then we put the braces around that, <clears throat> braces around the whole matrix as well. So and it correctly row reduced it, so x equals negative 1 and y equals 2. Now another way to actually solve this problem would be to solve, just say, say solve the Wolfram Alpha. So I know it may seem somewhat ironic, and we will need many constructions with matrices, so I don't mind having you do a few with reduced row echelon form and understanding that as well. But in a practical sense, if I have a system of multiple unknowns and equations, I'm just going to go with the easiest way in Wolfram Alpha, which is to say solve and type the two equations. So 1x plus 2y equals 3, 4x plus 5y equals 6. It interprets it as solve those two equations and gives you the answer, x is negative 1, y is 2, and it provides a handy graph of the two-dimensional situation with the two lines crossing and their intersection point highlighted for you. So for actual problems of solving a system of equation, Wolfram Alpha has reduced the work to really almost nothing at this point. So don't forget everything about matrices because we will be using them in many ways and, and depending on where you go, matrices are a very important part of math. But if it's for a simple linear system of equations, we have a direct method to solve it on Wolfram.